just because you do things alone doesn't mean that you're lonely or a loner. It's just good to spend time with yourself and figure out yourself and what you want in life. female empowerment honestly you know take a day for yourself take yourself out because you only got you baby you only got you hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to another Suana self-care Sunday episode four in this episode we are going to be focusing on doing things alone and doing things alone but not being lonely one of the things that I wanted to focus on in my self-care is doing things alone before I used to have this fear of doing things alone I always felt like I had to have a friend or do it with my mom but there's nothing wrong with having taking yourself out on a date spending time with yourself to figure yourself out and have fun and be with yourself because when you're with yourself you're able to figure out yourself what you like what you don't like what you want in life you're able to reflect meditate and all that good stuff so today I'm going to be taking myself out on a date and I'm going to bring you guys along so this episode is more of kind of like a vlog um, that's why Friday I uploaded a haul and not a vlog because this episode's more of a vlog I'm gonna bring you guys along my day I'm gonna be doing some fun activities by myself um, and I'm gonna bring you guys along there's a couple things I've already done before by myself and there's a couple things I haven't. Um, so for the itinerary today, I have my daily planner. You guys know um, I always have a daily planner and a weekly planner. Let me know if you guys want a organization episode because I like to be very organized. But on today's itinerary, we have eat breakfast, which I already ate. Um, I'm going to journal. I already listened to an audiobook. I've been listening to Atomic Habits by James Clear. Um, and then I'm going to go thrifting. I'm going to go to Value Village. We're going to do some thrifting. And then I'm going to go to a restaurant by myself. I've never went to a restaurant by myself. So this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to be like, table for one. I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. And then we are also going to go to the movies. I already booked my ticket. I'm going to be seeing the new James Bond movie, No Time to Die. My girl Billie Eilish, she did a song in that movie. And also I like the franchise. And then if we have time, I also want to go to chapters, maybe check out some books. Because y'all know I'm into books. Do I need more books? No. But anyways, so yeah, that's the itinerary. I'm going to be also vlogging, editing, and later on I might be watching a TV show with my friend through FaceTime. So yeah, that is the itinerary. I'm going to bring you guys along the day. I am going to do a little bit of journaling and then we will head out and start our day by ourselves. This is my journal for today. I went with a pink theme for today. I love it. I just kind of wrote what my plan is for the day, what happened yesterday. I love journaling every single day. Yesterday I did a blue. Um, so far my journal has been really great. I've been using it to kind of just write my thoughts, my feelings, how I'm feeling, how my days go. Um, this is kind of like my little, my birthday photos of how my birthday went. It was really fun. And yeah, I love my journal. So anyways, um, we're done journaling. I'm going to get ready to go. So I'm going to get ready and we are going to head out and have a fun day um, with All right, myself. so I'm outside. The bus is coming in like 20 minutes. So I thought I would grab some Starbucks, spoil myself to some Starbucks, and then we will head to the thrift store. So I'm walking to the bus stop. It's really loud, but I'm walking to the bus stop. I got a tall 
caramel macchiato um and i'm excited to try it i've never tried it it looks really good so uh yeah i'll do a little taste test i feel like i gotta mix it it's the caramels at the bottom Mmm, I'm not the biggest coffee person, but this is not bad. I wish I had a straw to mix it, but I'll give it, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Really good. Um, I just wish I had a straw to mix it so I could taste the caramel, but not bad. Anyways, going to walk to the bus stop and then we are going to go to the thrift store all right guys we are at the thrift store um basically my list for what i want to get is i want to look at the books journals maybe find like some crew necks because it's getting cold um and maybe a cute mug so those are like the things i'm going to be looking for so let's go
I'm done at the thrift store. I am so happy with everything that I got. Like, I'll give you guys a haul when I get home, but I'm pretty happy. Okay, so I think the plan is, since I have a good amount of things and I have time, I'm going to take the bus, go home, drop off my things, and then we will go to the restaurant and get some lunch. And then if we have time, chapters, and then the movies. But I had so much fun. I have so many goodies and I'm so excited and I'm happy. And honestly, you know, take a day for yourself. Take yourself out because you only got you, baby. You only got you. So yeah, I'm happy and I'm also getting my steps in. So yeah. All right, I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna go home, drop off my things, and then head out again. Got a jam-packed day of fun to want a day. So yeah, Wednesdays, I always try to take myself out, go do something fun for me and only me. So yeah, that's what we're doing today, and I'm having fun. Okay guys, I'm now back home, I changed shirts and i got a hoodie it was too hot in that crew neck it is really hot so i'm switching bags and i'm getting ready to go to eastside mario's for lunch so i'm going to switch from my backpack to this cute little purse that i'll just you know carry like this or like crisscross like this so i don't have i'll have hands free and then i'm gonna bring a little baggy because they have really cute squishmallows and I feel like I'm gonna get a couple or one so I'm gonna bring a bag just in case I get anything else so yeah I'm gonna get my bag ready and head out again the plan is to go to the restaurant see if I have time to go to chapters then we go to the movies there's also an arcade thing at the movies so if I can play a couple games get a couple points we might do that as well but so far, I'm having a lot of fun. And I think if you guys can take anything out of this video is that just because you do things alone doesn't mean that you're lonely or a loner. It's just good to spend time with yourself and figure out yourself and what you want in life. And yeah, I got my mask and I got my sunglasses because y'all, it's hot. So, yo. Also, I need a sip of water because, ooh, ah, refreshing. Okay, I'm gonna check when the bus is coming and then I'm gonna head out again. I'm proud of myself, I'm having fun, and that's all I can. Also, I've been a little bit of a sweaty mess today, so I'm also gonna be putting the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume so that I smell good. Also, at the Value Village, there was this cute girl. She was around my age and she was so sweet. And I wanted to ask her if she could be my friend, but like social anxiety. But um, one step at a time. But uh, yeah, maybe we can do another episode where we try to make new friends. I have awesome friends. I'm not saying I need new friends, but it's cool to meet new people, you know? Anyways, I'm a sweaty mess. I'm gonna check the bus and I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm at Eastside Mario's by myself. It's not as intimidating as I thought. It's fine, I just a table for one. Um, we have a beautiful, huge menu. I'm feeling pasta, so I think I'm gonna get pasta, a drink, and also they have an abundant amount of garlic bread. I'm also starving, so yeah. And I think I'm gonna get a drink. Here's the menu, and then we also have a drink menu, which is nice. I think I'm gonna get the peach rose frozen sangria and as a pasta, I think I'm gonna get, yeah, I guess I'm gonna get shrimp Alfredo. Um, I wish there was a smaller one. I don't want a jumbo, but we'll just bring it home. Okay, I know what I want. I'm gonna get the peach rose frozen sangria and jumbo shrimp alfredo. We got some free garlic bread with some butter. So good. All for me, 
back, baby. So my chicken Alfredo has arrived. I got my sangria, like I'm sure, and my salad. And then I also have my bread. This looks delicious. I'm so excited to devour it. Yum, yum, yum. I just finished at Eastside Mario's. It was so good. Like, oh my God. I was nervous to eat, you know, by myself. It was fine. There were many people that were eating by themselves. It just goes to show, do you boo boo. Go out to dinner, take yourself out. You know, I have a little leftover. I brought a little tote bag because I knew I probably wasn't going to finish my food. So yeah, now I'm walking across to go to a chapters. Literally like in the same area, there's the chapters and the movie theaters that I booked the movie. So yeah. So there is the chapters and there is the movie theater. So I'm just gonna quickly go shopping there and then go to the movies over there. So yeah, let's go look at some books. Okay, I just finished at Chapters. I got some books. I'll show you guys when I get home. But now we are going to watch the movie No Time to Die, the James Bond movie. I already bought my ticket like two days ago. So we're all set. I'm gonna go. I'm also gonna get a little Squishmallow, but I'm very excited to watch the movie. And yeah, that's kind of the last thing on the itinerary. That's the movie we're gonna watch. I'm so excited. My friend said it's really good, so yeah. This poster is huge. Holy moly. some arcade games while I wait for the movie. Let's play this one. I'm gonna sweat my car. Is it this way? Did it work? Oh, yup. 
Oh my god. Oh no. So far, I'm in the movie theaters by myself. I am also like 30 minutes earlier, so there might be more people, but so far, I have the seat there all to myself. Enjoy the movie and then go home. Hey guys, it's way later. I finished the movie. I need to face the light. I bawled my eyes out at the end. Cause it's like the end of James Bond, I believe, right? This is the last one. I don't know, but I bawled my eyes out. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was really, 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 really good. It was like two hours and like 45 minutes. Mm, chef's kisses, like it's on the top of the list of movies. I bawled my eyes out, but it was a really good movie. I'm meeting my mom at the bus stop. Mom! I'm meeting her at the bus stop and we're going home, so I'll catch you guys when I'm at home. Ugh. Hey guys, it is the next day. Um, last night I got home and then I FaceTimed my bestie Mimi and then we just ended up talking for hours and then I went straight to bed. So yeah, but yesterday was so much fun. I, I had a great time with myself and I had so much fun and I really saw the importance of taking yourself out and just spoiling yourself, taking care of yourself. And I just realized the things that I like doing. I like thrifting, I like watching movies, I like books, I like, you know, like I, I found so many things that I like doing by going to do them by myself. And it doesn't mean that it needs to be sad or that you need to be a loner just because you like hang out with yourself, you know? So I had lots and lots of fun. I 10 out of 10 recommend take a day out of the week to just do things on your own and have fun with yourself. So all this to say, it was really fun. I recommend you guys go out and have fun by yourselves because it's, it's fun and I liked it. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys everything that I got from the thrift store. I had so much fun today. Not only the thrift store, but I also went to Chapters, which um, I gotta actually go get my books. So I will give you guys a haul of everything I got from the thrift store and the books that I got from Chapters. Okay, so, um, as you guys saw, after I went to Eastside Mayors, I went to Chapters. If you didn't know, if you're not Canadian, I think it's Canadian. Chapters is a bookstore, books and stationery um, store. So I got three books, and then I also got um, Word Search, a cute Word Search for my grandma. I already gave it to her, but these are the books that I got. So I got this book that says, Say Yes to Yourself, 50 Plus Uplifting Lessons in self self-empowerment self-confidence and self-worth and you know we're all about self-care self-empowerment and I've been really I'm gonna start working on my self-compassion um, and I've been working that I've been working on that in my in therapy so I thought this book could really help me just say yes to myself and be compassionate towards myself and put myself first so we're, we're doing a lot of self-work um, and I thought this book would really help. I also really like the size and it just I thought it was super cute and it was on sale and It has like really nice quotes like this one says invest time and energy in your well-being Create an atmosphere of emotional safety for yourself by Amy Leigh Mercury Mercury and she's an author. So yeah, 
really cute book. I am very excited for it. Then I got this book that my therapist recommended to me because you guys know I've been really into reading. And this book is The Proven Power of Being Kind to Yourself, Self-Compassion, which I am now going to start working on my self-compassion and putting myself first and being compassionate towards myself. So I got this book. This is kind of like homework in a sense, and I'm excited to read it. Um, and then lastly, I was just drawn by the cover and it seems like a boss ass bitch book but this book looks like this and it says a guide to crushing girlhood feminist ass fuck so love that and look at the girls on the book like we love feminine energy we love female empowerment so yeah very excited to read this um, and I love the colors. I did get a little bit of Alfredo sauce on these books because I had my leftovers in the bag. But we're all good. It's a little bit squiggly, but I cleaned it and everything's fine. We're fine. So yeah, got these books. Very excited to read them. And I'm very excited to add it to my collection. So now let me give you guys a thrift haul. I found so many goodies like I'm so happy I love thrifting it's so much fun and you find so many like unique goodies okay so my first and favorite item is this like white organizer so basically it has two drawers and then these like little holes for organizers I feel like I might use this for like skincare or maybe stationery um, I don't really have much space to put in my room right now, but I feel like when I get my own place, this will be very uh, useful. I love it, like the drawers. I'm like, obviously I still need to clean it, but like it's so nice and it's white and I love like all my furniture is white except for my TV stand and my desk chair. So we love, I'm so excited to organize um, my stuff in it and I'm just a big organizer. Like I love organizing and cleaning. Well, when I mean by cleaning, I mean decluttering. I'm not like, I'm not a big mop or dishes or type of cleaner, you know? Anyways, so yeah. Next thing I got was this cute little like clear jar. Um, I bought from Bulk Barn a couple days ago. I got the candy cane hot chocolate. I know it's technically a Christmas drink, but they already started, uh, they already started like, selling it at Bulk Barn so I grabbed some so I'm gonna be putting it in this little jar and I'll put like a little spoon so I can like drink my hot chocolate and it'll be really cute it's so adorable and uh, honestly like when I get my own place I feel like I'm gonna have different jars like this and have like my protein powders and like baking soda well not baking soda I can stay in this box but like baking powder and just have like a bunch of these I don't know I feel like that could be really cute and then I got this little platter thing. I'm not quite sure where I would put this, but I thought it was really cute. They apparently sell this at the dollar store for $4, but I got it for $1.99 at the thrift store, so we love a good deal. I feel like I could put like jewelry or actually put bakery on it or, you know, put like my candles or something. I don't know. I thought it could be some cute little organization and it's just so adorable. So got that and I'm very excited. And then I got this cute little Dalmatian mug. I don't know if it'll focus, but like there's Cruella, the little Dalmatians, the old lady, uh, the, what's it called? The maid. And then we have the two workers that work for Cruella. And then you have like the Dalmatians watching TV and then the couple and then the mom and the dad Dalmatian. It was just so cute. I just love the, the details on this, like just, so beautiful and at the bottom it says it's a Disney's animated classic um, one 101 Dalmatians 1961 so I thought that was really cute and I as you guys know I got into coffee I'm not like this big coffee person now but I do have a little Keurig and I've been collecting mugs so yeah that just adds to my collection it's growing very quickly then the next thing that I got was this backpack. It's really cute. Um, it's like this dark purple. It matches my suitcase. So I feel like if I'm traveling, I'm going to be using it. One of the reasons why I like it is, is there's so many pockets. It stays on your back straight. And it's like perfect. There's like a laptop compartment. There's a bunch of pockets. And this can replace my old purple backpack. So really excited for this. 
and yeah, I'm very excited. Then I also got this cute little long comb pahi purple. It kind of looks a little different on camera, but it's like this velvety, like soft purple little pouch that I got for my mom. Um, I thought it was so cute and I feel like she'd really enjoy it. So I got her that. I always, every time I go shopping, I try to get something for my mom and my grandma because I love them. And then I got this cute little, I'm gonna call it a purse, but I think it's a lunchbox, but I'm gonna use it as whatever. You know, I might use it as a lunchbox some days or a purse as another, but it's this lilac bag and it says roots. So I think it's like maybe like a vintage roots bag. Um, I don't know if I can call it vintage, I have no idea, but it's so cute and I feel like I can use it as a lunchbox, use it as a purse, and it's so cute. So, got that and I'm very excited to add it to my purse collection. Then the next couple of things are clothes. Um, a lot of them are gym clothes because, as you guys know, I've been working out like five to six times a week. Um, three to six. Some weeks it's three, some weeks it's six, some weeks it's five. It kind of just depends on the mood, but um, I'm always looking for some more gym clothes, sweaters, leggings. So I got this black gym shirt. It's Nike and it's really, really nice. Um, and it's snatched. Like, the boobs look good, the, the stomach looks good, it just sucks everything in. And also, the back is like this like mesh material, so it's really nice. And yeah, very excited to wear this at the gym. It makes me look snatched. And then I got this sports bra. I tried it on yesterday. Oh my God. I tried it on at home because there's no more change rooms. But girl, so I got this in Nike sports bra. And there's this little pouch. I, I, I don't know what it's for. Maybe to like store your lip balm or something. Um, but I, it holds the boobs up and it just sucks everything in and I literally, it keeps my back straight. I feel good, I feel sexy in this. So I'm very excited that I got this sports bra and I need some more sports bras, so I got that. Very excited for that. Uh, next thing that I got are these leggings. They're these Under Armour leggings. I really liked the strap. It says Under Armour all around. And then I really like that there's pockets. And then at the bottom, you can like strap it like you can like strap it to your ankle and make it more tight, which I thought was really cool. It makes the butt look good. It's very comfortable and I know that I will be for sure working out in that. And I got it for a really good price, which I'm excited for. The last two things that I got are gym sweaters. So I got this light blue gym sweater um, and it's zip and it has a hood and it's just, you know, a normal gym sweater material and I'm very excited to wear it also like the back has like that mesh so like you can sweat in peace <laughs> so got a light blue one and then I also got a purple one because y'all know this one doesn't have a hood but it's a purple one it's really nice and y'all know I love my purple and it makes you just look snatched and nice and I have a black one and a gray one I feel like I just want to get a white one and then like I'm good. So yeah, that's everything that I got from the thrift store. I had so much fun and I hope that you guys take out of this video to take time for you um, and put yourself first and take a day out of the week or a couple hours if you don't have a day to just spend time with yourself and do something for you because it can make you feel so much better and so great. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed episode four of Suwana Self Care Sundays. Comment down below any other episodes you guys want to see from me. I do have a decent amount of episodes coming your way. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye.